Uh, okay, this is the uh, Ask Matt vlog starting now. Hey everybody, uh, Matt here and coming at you with another vlog. Kind of more taking something we used to do, a little more refined uh, version. Uh, we used to do these Ask Matt series where I would either do something small business related or just general information about opening food trucks, etc. I would pose the questions out on Instagram and Facebook and you, the amazing people watching this video, would uh, send me your questions and I'd love to answer them. So let's first go to the gram. So the first question, Ryan Ladisa, <laughs> are you wearing underwear? Yes, I'm wearing underwear. Question number two, uh, your Instagram handle, handle is beyond the chef table. Uh, and the question you have asked is, love your hat, where do you get it? So obviously this only makes sense if you can see my hat. So uh, I was wearing a really cool North Over Everything hat and it was purchased here in Toronto at the Scotiabank Arena, it used to be something else. I don't think I'm allowed to say it, I don't want to get sued by them. Uh, but they have a lot of amazing merch at the uh, at the arena that you can't get in other stores like in the city. So if you're looking for a North Over Everything hat, I got mine at Scotiabank Arena. Okay, next question is, so the question from One Only Ficini is, what was the first meal you had after you sold the restaurant? Cool, so great question. April 15th was our last service. I had some pizza, uh, for Pizza Nova, what what? Pepperoni green olives, that's my jam. Thin crust, just saying. Uh, <laughs> my very good friend, Dina. Dina Panagiwata, I don't know. Sorry Dina, I'm butchering this. She writes, what was it like knowing you were cutting me off with my Lisa Marie addiction? So, yeah. So when we closed the restaurant, she made me a card. That's my face on Macho Man Randy Savage's body. I don't know if you can see that. Macho Man Randy Savage, just pad thai fries and ribs and s'mores pancakes. And then on the back, there's my face on Luke Skywalker's body. Uh, Miss Kitten writes, do you regret selling Lisa Marie? Um, no, I don't. I miss having that really cool, awesome, restaurant, bar, whatever it was you want to call it. Uh, I really miss what it did for kind of a community of people that came there all the time, but I don't regret selling it at all. Um, I thought I might, but I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. So that was the Instagram uh, specific questions. Now to the Faccio Libre, Kieran Locke writes, Opening a restaurant has always been a dream of mine. What made you take that leap? It was a dream of mine too. Actually, opening a restaurant wasn't a dream of mine. Creating a food brand was a dream of mine. But really, we weren't even looking to open up a restaurant. I was trying to find a downtown kitchen that I was able to prep food truck stuff from, and it turned into opening up a restaurant. Dan writes, what would it take to get you to come to Peterborough and cook for me? Dan, it's not that I'm not trying to go to Peterborough, it's just I've yet to have like an actual reason to go to Peterborough. I would love to cook for you in Peterborough. Maybe there's a way for us to meet in the middle somewhere. If there are any really fun uh, events, like food events in Peterborough, send me a list of Peterborough events. Cause it'd be fun to, at, at the very least, like I said, you deserve something in that response. Rudy Del Torre writes, Hey, I'm Rudy, owner of the Big Dog Barbecue Truck in the deep south of Texas. My wife and I just purchased a small restaurant. What is your biggest tip in the transition from a mobile pop-up business to a full-time restaurant? Really look at some other uh, barbecue places that are bricks and mortar that are doing it really well. And um, I'm not saying copy them, but like look at what you like and be like, yes, this works. This is totally great. But then look at what you do really well and find a way to format it. So that is the Ask Matt vlog. Uh, I hope I answered your questions. And just because this vlog is over doesn't mean the questions ever need to stop. I've always been a, a super transparent person. Send me questions. I just write them down and I'll come back to them. And sometimes when we, I'll prompt you and I'll find some like very specific Kind of subjects that I'm looking for. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, 
and turn on notifications so that way you get a little, I think it's an email or a ding or something, something happens. And I hope you're enjoying the new phase of vlogs. I'm having a lot of fun making them. What do you think, Bobby the Brain Eden? You stink! Ah. Anyways, okay. Thanks guys, bye bye.